Welcome to the Come to the Devolution, a show to empower, enlighten, and entertain divas and those that love us. Hey, Mitz. Hey there, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I am good, I enjoy it. I think it's called a punchki, punchki, punchki. You know what, I didn't even realize it was Fat Tuesday until uh-huh. this afternoon. I am surprised, you did not know that. I, 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 I would have really I, loved one of those. Uh, yeah, no, no, I had, um, actually I bought uh, three dozen for work and um, for an event and stuff, but then somebody else brought in a dozen, so for the first time ever I had a Cops and Donut punchki. Oh, I bet it was good. Oh, yeah. Was it like... As big as your head? Oh, yeah, it was. It was just huge. <laughs> and, of course, I was like a lady and ate half, and I'm so glad I just cut it in half, but I really wanted the whole. Oh, I bet, yeah. Uh, the I box d- weighed a ton. I, oh, I can't even imagine. Yeah, 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 So they do a good so job. So I don't eat donuts. I don't But either. when I do, I eat jelly donuts oh, do or you? cream sticks. Yes, Those yeah. are the only two worth the... I'm ca- a custard girl. Oh, and I like those yeah, too, yeah. yeah. Oh, custard, yeah. But it has to be filled with either cream, custard, or jelly. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I'm not a big, yeah, if I take a bite of a glaze or anything, I just kind of go, oh, why did I do that? And and yeah. it's okay, and I'll yeah. go, that's why I don't eat donuts. It's just not <laughs> worth it. And a cake donut, if the world just made cake donuts, I'd I'd be happy. I'd never eat yeah, a donut. Yeah, me too. I know, me too. What is that about that? <laughs> I don't I, yeah. know. And it's, Must yeah. be an Italian yeah, thing. Yeah, it is. It's like, and then I laughed because then I sat there and I went, are these really punchkis? Do cops really know how to make those? Because it's really a South End thing that we, I, I just being in Bay City, you got them from Barney's or Krejciak's. It was a South End bakery. It was the only place uh, that really Because did. they're Polish, right? Yeah, yeah. Myers, no, you couldn't go there. Yeah, you had to go. I was at Barney's this morning at like 6 in the morning, and it was nuts in there. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, yeah. It was just wall-to-wall people. They said they thousands fly out of there. And here I was, I was thinking it was next Tuesday for some reason. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I was thinking that, but, um, mm-hmm. so this afternoon I was, I had to write something and I went to email it. And so I went on to Yahoo to send yeah. it off and it, there it said Fat Tuesday and I went, shit. Yeah, dang it. I missed it. <laughs> hey, we still got time. We can go somewhere. And then, and then tomorrow, how about that? Valentine's Day is Ash Wednesday. Yes. And that kind of, yeah. Easter will be on April Fool's Day this year. Oh, oh, that's right, yeah. April 1st. Yeah. That's really early yeah, for Easter. Yeah. I think that's why I had it in my head it was next week. I know. I was like, oh, Valentine's Day. So April I want to know if people are going to buy chocolate. It's Ash Wednesday. All them I Catholic. think they're going to, all those Catholics yeah. are going to let it slide. Uh, is, it, is it one of those abstinent days? Yeah. Like, yeah, if you're in love, you get to let it slide. It's all right. The Pope the, the, will the Pope decree. Said, Did Francis let us know? But it is. It's, it's love in the air. That's, yeah, Valentine's Day. I remember being little, and it was the one day that when we were kids being a good Catholic kid, we wouldn't say Valentine's Day. We'd say Happy VD and just kind of chuckle. Uh-huh. Because <laughs> you could never say those words and stuff to where, yeah. So Fat Tuesday, and now tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Uh, was that a big day for you, Deb, Valentine's Day? Well, oh, I've had a bad history with Valentine's oh, Day. Yeah. I saw something like you talk about that a little bit. Yeah, yeah. although yeah. I'm over it now, but um, you want to, you really want to know? Yeah, I do. Okay, I always like Valentine's Day because I used to do fun things for my kids, like cut their sandwiches oh, and yeah. a heart. Yeah, and, yeah. And my dad always did things for us, and I always had nice boyfriends that would do. And then one year, my divorce was final on Valentine's Day. Uh, it was in the works for so long. Why they finalized, finalized it on Valentine's Day is beyond me. Yeah. Couldn't they have waited another day? The, yeah, the 15th, yeah. Or the 13th. I, yeah, it was just, mean. Yeah. And so, and then, so <laughs> I, I made laughed. this nice dinner for everybody because I didn't know that it was going to be final that day until I found out it was final that day. So I already had the ex coming yeah. over, soon to be. <laughs> And so I made this nice dinner for everybody, and then I got those papers, and I'm thinking, uh-huh. and I was I was crying, you know, this is the last time we're going to do this, the last time we're going to yeah. do this. And then my ex says to me, you know, I, I don't have to leave today. I, I said, yes. Yes, you do. You do. Yeah. I'm not going through this all another yeah. week. Are yeah. you shitting me? Yeah. And then... So then that kind of ruined it for me, but I was okay. I yeah. didn't date or anything yeah. for quite a while. And then I was going with this guy, 
And he sent me the tallest red stem roses I have ever seen. They were absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. And then he called me and told me that he was breaking up with me <gasps> on oh. Valentine's Day. Wow. That's, that's pretty low. Uh-huh. That is really like... That is like the scum on the bottom of the pond, though. That doesn't even get the top rating scum. That's this is right. like the scum under the scum. Right. Oh, that's terrible. So then after that, I yeah. Valentine's Day, I would have a hot bath and cry oh, <laughs> for yes. years. Yeah. That's right. Chocolate. Yeah. Hopefully there was chocolate right. involved. Yeah. I just remember like like when we were kids, being little, you had to make the your the shoe box to collect your Valentine's at school. You know, and that, and you would, would, like, we always had aluminum foil at our house is what covered our boxes, but that, but you, we, we got to decide who got Valentine's. You didn't have to do the whole class when I was little. Mm. And then they got rid of that. I think that's how it was with us, too. Yeah, but then they got rid of that, so now you have to bring Valentine's for everybody, and I remember that with my kids, and even my kids would be like, because when you look at Valentine's, it says stuff. Even if it's cute, Care Bears or whatever, it's like, I care about you, be mine. Right. You know, and they'd be like, but mom, I don't want to do that one for them. Right, you know what I right. mean? So yes. there was just all that confusion, and it just became, and I'm like, oh. So I, I did. The four kids in Valentine's making the boxes and treats, I, I was just over it. I, yes. I, I just, yeah, it's not, a, it's not a big day for me. And I, yeah, yeah. My husband, I know, will probably give me chocolates or flowers tomorrow or something. I haven't done anything for him on Valentine's Day, and and he knows that about me. I'd rather do it on a different day, and I've always right. said that. I goes, don't wait for a national holiday like my birthday or Valentine's Day to send me chocolates. Your birthday's a national holiday. It is. Holy in my world. shit! It I is in my know. world. Damn right, I get a week. Mitzi's birthday. <laughs> it should Kids be. don't have school. I know it should be a national October holiday. what fifth. That's yeah. right, and we were going to celebrate all month. Remember. Mm-hmm. We had 24 yeah, days. Yes, I did. I did pretty good this year. Good. I, I, I do all right. I do all right. I, d- I had a really good yeah. birthday this year, too. Yeah. I wonder if there's a lot of people that have like that it's... disappointment with Valentine's Day. Like, you build it up. Does it fall yeah. short? Or is it just superficial? I kind of just... Know? You know what makes me feel bad, though? This year, I was going to send Valentine's to all the grandkids, and I didn't. Oh, nice. That's a good and idea. I, and yeah. I feel kind of bad. I bought them and everything, and I never sent them. Oh, that sucks. I well, got you're, sick. You're, you're ready for next year, then. Right. Yeah, just <laughs> it just makes me feel really bad. I'm not a very good grandma. Oh, yes, you are. I don't, I don't think so. I think the kids are disappointed. <laughs> oh, no, they're not. I would disagree. They just don't know you. Let's call them. Yeah. Let's call them. Um, hey, it's Deb a good grandma. Well, no, what is the history of Valentine's Day anyway? What is that? What does it all mean? St. Valentine right. sent letters or something to people in prison or he was in prison and he sent them. Okay, that's because I forgot. I should know that. I, was it's, a good Catholic I can't remember which way it is, yeah, though. So, yeah. One or the other. Speaking yeah. of birthdays, though, happy yeah. birthday, Beth Chorba, oh, tomorrow. Oh, yeah. woo Beth Chorba. <laughs> we had fun last week. We yes, did. That yes, was a really yeah. good. We were talking about that yeah. before the show. That was, um, I love surprise parties for people. I do, too. I, I just too. love the look on their face yeah. and... And, and you have to be good at it because it's it's hard to surprise people in this is. day and age and social media that And yeah. how many people have to know in order yeah. to pull it off. Yeah, and then to make sure they don't say anything and you don't even see people and there's no more paper invitations or anything. Right. It's all you know, and, and people listening and you videotaping and you're planning a party, you don't know. It just yeah, it's it's tough. And she was totally but she had no totally idea. Shocked. And you know, it was the perfect storm yeah, for all. that party. Yep. It was so funny yes, how that yeah. came together. And the cake was fabulous. Wasn't it? Oh, Deb Z, yep. Yeah. Deb yeah. Z. Oh, you should sell she them. She did a very good you job. You should sell them. I could order some. You should sell them. She should. They were phenomenal. Everybody, because like I had a piece and took it to the, the uh, last of it to work. And so when I took it and stuff oh, and good. all that, they're all like, oh, did you buy this? I goes, no, 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 this is, you know, and I just said, yep, we had a birthday party, you know, and I just told everybody, I says, this is all lots of chocolate. There's eggs in there. I don't know if it's nut flour. So uh, yeah, <laughs> if you got any kind of allergy, it's on you. But other than that, it was good. And they, and it was amazing because everybody just kept on taking, oh, you know, I'd go and look in the fridge over at the shelter and you'd see some of it gone, not all of it gone. So, so they were very uh, enjoying cute. every bite of it. Like, good, yeah, like it good. was like it was a de- delicacy. So thank you, Dab. It was awesome. Uh-huh. It was it. really nice. And yeah. the, the look on her face was 
I'll, it was something I'll never forget. Oh, yeah. It was a really yeah. good surprise. Yeah, she thought she was being duped, <clears throat> and I loved it. She thought the next person following her, we were all going to jump up and say happy birthday. She really thought she was being duped. And uh-huh. I loved it. Yeah, or punked. That's what it called. Punk. Punk. Thought we were punking her. Yep. Yeah, yeah, and she kept so, saying, for me? Yeah. For me? Yeah, yeah. And she was looking around. Yeah, I know, and it took her I a said, long yes, time. I said, yes, for you. Yeah, and it, I know, and Kim was sitting there, and she didn't even see her <laughs> right. sister right away. And, she, I don't, and then when she saw her, I still don't think it connected. I thought she, she did. said She told Kim that I've been trying to get you to come to one of these events for a year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just have a birthday, Beth. That's all it took. Yeah. It was. It was a good yeah, time. Yeah, that was good. really was, nice. Yeah. And yeah. we did a good thing that was celebrating yeah. the end of our um, yeah. We've got you covered, yeah. blanket and sock drive. Yeah. We ended up getting more than blankets and socks, though. Like, you brought hats and scarves, yeah. and yeah. another lady brought some coats. I brought some sweaters, because I didn't have blankets. Yeah. I, th- I, and I think anything to keep people warm. Is good. Right. Yeah, I do, too. I agree. And not everybody needs a blanket, but they could use a sweater. Right. Or they could use the coat or right. the gloves yeah, right. and stuff. And especially right now, too. I says most people's hats and gloves have seen the worst of winter that's right oh good point yeah. yeah i had a friend of mine tell me she goes my daughter has taken all four pairs of her gloves and the last pair she took she goes you better start bringing a pair home or you're going to start going to school without gloves because she keeps leaving them there oh you that know. stinker yeah and she says by the end of winter i know she's going to come home and i'm going to end up having like 12 pairs of gloves and i'm going to say well now now we have 12 <laughs> because she you know, so I was laughing. I goes, yeah. I goes, get those idiot strings. Yes, I goes, right. I want a pair of. I think we need to make some pearl ones or jeweled ones or bedazzled idiot strings for my gloves. Yes, why not? Yeah, like it look like a bracelet, so it's there. Yeah. Hmm. I know. I like it. I think it could. I work. think we could do that. Yeah, I do. I need. I. I did this. Fashionable morning, yeah. clips. Yes, fashionable clips. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's what I need. Yeah. That's actually that's a good idea. Yeah, it would be nice. Yes. <clears throat> so. Um, it's February, of course, and, uh, it's all about hearts. This February is, um, the National Heart Association's yeah. Heart yeah. Month and yeah. everybody was, all the, all the women were supposed to wear red on February 2nd yeah. and, red. um, yeah. Yeah. for, uh, uh, heart disease awareness, you know, here's the yeah. thing that bugs me about that, uh, and I, I love the American Heart Association. Right. I love all those associations right. Right. that are doing stuff. They bring people together. And to me, that's better right. than anything. Yeah, I agree. And if you want to wear red on that day, have at it. Because it shows that you stand for something. Okay. You know, and yeah. I, I like that. <laughs> you know. But all of a sudden, in the past, since 1997, heart disease is the number one killer for Women. Women. Yes. Since yes. 1997. Yes. And guess what else has um, almost doubled since 1997? What? Women in the workforce. I was just going to say women. I was thinking that. I was going to say is it women in the workforce. Mm-hmm. So it's stress. Yeah. Stress. Balancing and then, two acts. Yes. Yes. And yeah. then, and then yep. this one doctor does, a, does this government-funded research for yeah. five years and thinks that it might be due to stress. Hello. Why didn't he just ask us? It was a woman. <laughs> That's what. Well, why didn't she just yeah. ask us? We could have told her. Right. Just one question. Do you stress with work? Yep. Check, 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 check. That's it. Yeah. And then yeah. when you get home, how is it stressful? Yes. yes. Because yes. we not we still have to do all the things that we've always right. done at home. Although we do negotiate. I mean, um, what is that called when you give a job to somebody else that you de- it's not designate. It's delegate. not ne- delegate. delegate. I knew there was there's a gate a, in there. There's a, and a D. And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can say that. Come on, help me. Out. Yeah. But you're right. Yeah. And we do delegate certain chores now. Like a, a lot of women that are executives have house cleaners. Right. A lot of them have nannies. Yes. But then in the nanny case, who's suffering? Right. The kids. Right. Maybe. And then I know, like, too, I mean, more men are finding joy and yes. stuff doing the housework yes. and the cleaning and yes. stuff. And I don't know if that is a. Uh, due to like get married later in life that, you know, they are, you know, they're not just leaving mom and dad's nest, going to college and then getting married. They're on their own. They have a place. So, you know what I mean? So, so they've I don't learned know that's those skills a piece of it, But yeah, and there's no shame in being, but I like how they call it. I'm a home dad. Uh huh. You know, like, oh, that's such a hero thing for you to do, right? Oh, let's pat you on the back. Where we've and when done it for we years. say, and when we say, oh, I work from home, they 
Uh, it's kind of frowned upon. Right. What right. do you mean? Yeah. You don't work out at the house? Yeah. When being a mother I mean, is the most right. important job. Yeah, and the hardest job. It and is the true. hardest. And the, the pay is shit. It's, it's terrible. It's yes. shit. You get no appreciation. And by the time, yeah. You get 